My favorites and flops for the month of March. I have two flops this month. I have a bunch of favorites. Um, I do have one fashion item and I also have a food favorite that I wanted to talk about as well. So I'm going to jump right in and start with the beauty. So the, I've tried a bunch of drugstore stuff lately, like new stuff that's been out. So I do have two things that are newer to the drugstore and those are the first thing is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Light. I have this on today. It's a really good setting powder. Um, it's not really a matte finish, but not a luminous finish. I would say like maybe a satin finish. Um, it's once again not super matte. I usually use pressed powders on my face, but I've been using this a lot lately and I've been reaching for this over my pressed matte powders that I usually put on top of my foundations. It just gives such a pretty flawless finish and I'm really loving this. It, once again, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and it is in number 15 light. The next product is by L'Oreal and it's their Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer Base. So I believe they came out with a luminizing one or a pro glow and then the matte one. So the other one obviously is a luminous finish. This is a more mattifying primer. I do really like it. It's very similar to the Maybelline um, Master Prime. Uh, blur and smooth. That's the one that I purchase over and over and over again And what I like about that one is it's more of like a lotion like white lotion base over like a silicone base And this one has the same like consistency. It's more of a lotion than a silicone I do feel like it gives your face a good base for a foundation and it also helps mattify and make your makeup last longer. So I'm really liking this and I'm definitely going to probably purchase another one once I run out. Once again, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. Next, I have two lip products that I've been reaching for a lot this month. The first is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the color Layover. I talked about the other two colors that I got um, last month, which was Pinkies Up and Appy. Um, I've really been reaching for this one a lot this month. Layover is like a rosy, I would call it like a rosy nude. And I just really love this lip color and it's something that goes with a lot of different looks. So I can just throw this in my bag and if I don't have the lipstick that I wore earlier in the day or if I didn't have time to put something on before leaving for work, this most likely is going to go with a lot of different looks, uh, makeup looks. Once again, this is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the color Layover. The other lip color I've been loving this month is the Garlactic Matte Lip Paint in Posh. I would consider this a like brick brown color. It has a, a little bit of red in it, but it also has some brown in it. So that's my description of Posh. It's just a really pretty color. I always gravitate towards like warm browns and nudes and reddish browns for my lips. Um, so this is really a pretty color. Um, you could also call it like a terracotta. It's such a great liquid lipstick. It's super comfortable on the lips, really pigmented, and I honestly think this is going to be my new favorite brand of liquid lipsticks. Um, I already talked about Demure in the past, and I really want to get more of these, but I do need to chill out with my spending. Um, but I do plan to pick up some more of the Girlactic lip paints. Once again, this is the Girlactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint in the color Posh. The next product is a brow product, and it's by Tarte. It's their Busy Gal Brows. Um, tinted brow gel. I did a review on this so I will link it down below but it's a great brow gel. It has tint to it so if you don't fill in your brows and you just want a little more color this is a great brow gel. Another thing or rather the thing that makes it stand out from other brands is it has a super tiny wand like the spoolie is microscopic super small and this is great for people that have really small eyebrows and you know some brow products have a really thick applicator or spoolie whatever you want to call it and so you can make a mess when you're trying to comb the color in place 
And so if you have smaller brows but you still want to, you know, fill in your brows, you could you could pick this up and you could fill in your brows with it and you could comb your brows in place and it's not some giant spoolie. And once again, it has a lot of pigmentation so you could use this if you don't like to pencil your brows in and stuff like that. Or if you're on the go and you don't have time to, you could just run this through your brows and be on the go. So, so once again, this is the Tarte Busy Gal Brows Tinted Brow Gel. The last item is also by Tarte and it's the Tarte Foil Finger Paint Shadow Palette. This is literally the most gorgeous palette I own. Like, the packaging alone is just super pretty. It has like turquoise and like rhinestones and pearls all over the front. It's so beautiful. The packaging just, I'm probably never going to get rid of it just because of the packaging. It's just so pretty. So this is a basically cream, I would call it a cream shadow or foiled shadow has a really big mirror on the inside and these shadows are very large as you can see. It has four, uh, three shadows and then two glitters on the side. So I'm going to be doing a review on this. Hopefully you'll see that review before you see this video and I will link it below. Um, it, like I said it comes with three shadows and two glitters. There's a gold shadow, a raspberry wine color, and then a deep bronze, or bronzy taupe rather. I would definitely consider this more of a mixture between a bronze and a taupe. Um, and then it has a multicolored, like almost rainbow glitter, and then a more silvery blue glitter. So there are different finishes in here. Um, the gold and the wine are more of like a metallic finish, and then the taupe color right here called sea glass is more of a glittery metallic so there's definitely glitters in that one and then these ones on the end are you know more glitter than anything else so this is just a beautiful palette to own if you want something that's gonna make your eyes pop you just pop these on the lid and it's just gonna amp up the look it's definitely more of a dramatic glittery or foiled metallic look and it's they're just such beautiful colors once again I'm going to link below my review so you can see swatches and all that um, and it's just such a beautiful palette to own once again this is the uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foil finger paints the next favorite I have is a pair of sunglasses for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while you know that I'm a diff eyewear ambassador Diff Eyewear is a charitable eyewear company. For every pair of sunglasses purchased, they donate a pair of reading glasses to Eyes on Africa, which is a charitable company that basically supplies reading glasses for people in need in Africa. And so I own a couple pairs of their sunglasses. The most recent pair that I bought are these Black Aviators. The style is called Cruise. And it's just like a black metal with a black or gray gradient on the lens. A lot of celebrities have been doing collaborations with Diff. Khloe Kardashian has a line of sunglasses with Diff. Um, Jesse James Decker has one. And um, who else? There's a bunch of people. Um, Lauren Atkins, who is Thomas Rhett's wife. Thomas Rhett is a country singer, for those of you that don't know him. His wife has a line of sunglasses through diff and so they just have all different styles and they're just such great quality and I love that they give back to the community and to people in need so yeah I'm loving these glasses I do have an ambassador code which I can link below if you're interested in purchasing a pair or checking out the site it would give you 20% off your order and I believe I do get 20% off of an order for myself as well if you use the code just to give you guys a heads up this isn't a sponsored video I just wanted to mention that and mention these glasses because this is all I really wear since I've bought them are my diff glasses and the crews are definitely my favorite lens I love aviators so yeah definitely loving these the last favorite I wanted to talk about is a food subscription service it's this isn't a sponsored post I just wanted to mention it because I've been purchasing home chef since January uh, there are so many different food subscriptions out there I did a lot of research before deciding which one I wanted to get I did try HelloFresh and I just didn't it wasn't for me um, but I decided to stick with home chef after trying it for many reasons Food subscriptions are great for people that don't have time to go food shopping 
or they have um, a hard time like me coming up with food menus each week or some people have strict diets that they follow. So Home Chef is very accommodating to different diets like vegan or low calorie or if you're gluten free. Me specifically, I try to do a low carb diet and they have a lot of low carb options each week. Once you start picking certain items, they kind of suggest menu items that might work with your diet. So I really like that about them is they do um, cater to different types of diets and food restrictions. Also, um, another thing that I really like about Home Chef is that they don't charge you a premium or charge you more than the normal subscription price for steaks and beef. Like other um, food subscriptions usually charge another $10 per meal for like steak or beef and stuff like that. And what's great about Home Chef is they don't charge you more for beef recipes. So for those of you unfamiliar with like these food subscriptions basically, you pick a number of meals you want sent to you each week. Um, I do three meals a week and it's 59, it's about 59.50 or 59.60, it's basically $60 a week, which could be pricey. Um, I don't do it every week. I kind of skip around. You can skip each week or you can put your account on hold. So um, you have options if you want to try it out and then decide that um, you don't want to buy it for a certain amount of time because you know you may be tight that month with money so it's great that you can skip meals and stuff like that they also give you a bunch of different recipes for each week usually it's like I want to say like seven or eight different meals and you can pick you know which meals you want sent to you and it's you can pick for two people or four people it's different prices I, I pick for two it's really great with portions because I have a hard time portioning my food. Like I always cook huge portions and um, that's one of the reasons why I have such a hard time with dieting is because I just overindulge. And the portions are really great with Home Chef. They're not too small, they're not too big. And I do feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Another great thing about Home Chef is they do have a referral program. Um, so if you refer someone you could give them $30 off their first box and then you get a $30 credit towards your box. So I do have that option. If you're interested in signing up, I do have a referral link below to get you $30 off your first box. Once again, this isn't sponsored. It's just me talking about this mail service because I really do enjoy it and it's been really great for making my weeks a lot easier when it comes to meal prep and, and basically figuring out what I'm going to eat for dinner each night. So. I definitely, like I said, wanted to bring up Home Chef. Definitely loving that. And like I said, if you're interested in signing up or learning more, you can check out my referral link below to get you $30 off your box. Now on to flops. I have two flops this month. Um, one of them is something that I tried again recently and I just still don't like it. And the other thing is a huge hyped up thing that I, many people have been talking about in the industry. I decided to try it out. We'll talk about that one first. So the first flop I have is the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. These are the Double Demi Wispies. So I'm not good at applying false lashes. I don't even try anymore. I always wear mascara and that's it, no falsies. Um, they're just a pain for me trying to get them on and then, you know, if you mess up, you mess up your makeup trying to get them off and, you know, all the glue and stuff like that. So I really had high hopes for magnetic lashes because they would make me be able to wear false lashes and not have to deal with trying to glue them on my eyes. So these were definitely a fail. I tried them first using them by themselves, like each strip is supposed to basically clamp on the top and the bottom underneath of your lashes and the magnets are supposed to clip together. I tried doing that first and I spent about I don't know, 20 minutes trying to get it to stay on and I just couldn't get the magnets to match up or they were clicking on but they were too far from the um, lash line. So then um, I did watch a couple of videos to try to get a better hang of it and people were cutting the lashes in half so that you were applying two pieces instead of a whole strip and that was a little bit easier but it still was kind of a fail because I couldn't get them to be exactly, you know, super close to the lash line and it just was like such a waste of time. I spent like $12 on these and they were just a fail. If you guys want to try them or you found one that you think is a lot easier, let me know. But I just had such a hard time with these and I had, I really, really was hoping that they would work but unfortunately they did not and they were a flop. 
Once again, these are the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. The other flop is a hair product, and it's the Bedhead Wave Artist. It's basically a hair waver, and it kind of like crimps your hair, except it doesn't crimp my hair. So it either doesn't work at all, like you have to keep it on forever, and I know maybe it's because this is a cheap brand of of hair styling tools, but I would hold it on forever and it wouldn't crimp that much. Or when it would crimp, it just looked poofy. It didn't look cool and crimpy or anything like that. And I've just struggled with this thing and I've given up for the final time. Like I'm not gonna try it again because I just don't think it's a good product and it just really didn't work for me. So this is my second flop. Um, and yeah, so those are all my favorites and flops for the month of March. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, post it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, thanks guys, bye!